Velvet Rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only Polly Brindle. Yay! Thank you so much for having me. In studio in LA. I know, in my old neck of the woods. I know. I can't believe you used to work at like Sunset Tower right Sunset down the street. Sunset Tower, right down the street. I was like, oh, I might pop in afterwards and see my old uh, work friends. Well, listen, like I was telling you just now before you went on, you were the only person. So really, you should be my favorite from Selling the OC. Wait, I'm done. not your favorite. <laughs> well, you were my favorite anyway, but you're the only one that's done this podcast last season and this season. I so love that for myself. We have some newbies this season that haven't done it less. So you're so you, by default, you have to be my favorite. I, I'm an old timer. You know, what can I say? I'm a veteran I at mean, this point. Congratulations. Another season two dropped a few weeks ago and it, it like blew up. It's like another, right? Yes, it was. I mean, I I guess it's classed as a hit. We made top 10 in nearly 20 different countries, which is That's crazy. crazy. People are, you know, chomping at the bit for, for season three, which we wrapped couple of weeks ago so not sure when that's coming out they don't tell me shit because I tell everyone so I'm like the Tom Holland of the uh selling franchise so can't give any info on that but yeah there's definitely more to come how was season two different for you Season two was different just with how certain people came to the table it was weird because for me, <laughs> for me, like I am myself the whole time, whether cameras on me, cameras aren't on me, we're, we're, you know, I'm in the office, I'm, you know, I, I feel like I'm myself the whole entire time. And I think that's kind of why, you know, you get the same me, you know, and season one, maybe some people kind of were trying to be something that they're not and you can't keep up appearances for that long like if you try and pretend that you're something that you're not like you know true colors come out sooner rather than later and you know based on season one I think certain people came into season two with more of like a game plan of them you know maybe it was to get more screen time maybe it was to have like a storyline that was relevant or interesting so it was kind of interesting for me to see like oh okay well I'm just gonna be me like just like waiting. people came in like playing the game yeah I I definitely felt that more season two of like you know two or two or three people I was who? just like I I think it's pretty obvious when you watch it who really kind of differs from from who they were season one. So. I could think of some names. Yeah. But so, you know. yeah, that was interesting. That was actually quite difficult for me to navigate because, you know, people, you know, who I genuinely believe were friends, you know, they were acting so differently when the camera's rolling that I was just kind of like, it's kind of a mind fuck to be able to deal with that, you know. Well, speaking of that, I mean, look, there was drama season two. Before we get, yeah. right, I mean, shocker, <laughs> before we get into some of the bigger dramas, you know, I mean, and I don't know if this is one of the people you're talking about, but what happened between you and your friend, Sean Palmieri? You guys were the two BFFs We We one. were very, very close. Like, I, Sean was one of the closest people to me in the whole entire office. I used to go around to his house multiple times a week. We used to do sunset beach walks. You know, it was, he's still all over my social media. Um, and then season one came out and I, I honestly think he was really upset that he didn't really make the cut uh, for much screen time. And he, I think he kind of got in his own head a, a bit about it. He, uh, you know, behind the scenes tried to start some arguments between me and Alex Hall, you know, dragging up stuff with me and Kayla. And I kind of called him out on that. I was like, listen, we're good. Me and Alex are good. Me and Kayla are fine. Like, there's no, there's no issue there. Like, I'm not quite sure what you're doing. And... Um, that didn't go down very well. And then after that, back and forward, he kind of, you know, apparently moved back up to LA. So I was like, okay, you know, I mean, I don't have a problem, but you know, we're not as close as we were. Right. Fast forward to season two and he very much like kind of used our, how close we were to try and attempt to get a storyline and try and attempt to get screen time. And I was just like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this because we don't have an issue. And 
you're the one that blocked me on social media. You're the one that deleted me. And blo- like, I, I, I'm not playing this game. Right. And I'd already grieved the end of that relationship. You know, people who are my friends, I really fall hard for them, you know. And yeah, that was difficult actually last year to to kind of see that he maybe wasn't as genuine as as what he'd made out to be. And do you think like it was because of like the fame and like, right, like you obviously got a much bigger edit and he got a smaller edit. Yeah, I think he he kind of, he got a bit in his head with that. I don't know. We we don't have a relationship anymore. You know, he's he very much continues on that track season three to try and get screen time. So we'll see. We'll see how much he gets. Uh, But yeah, I think there's certain people as well in the office that, you know, naturally are themselves on camera and, you know, A lot of us forget that we're there, which the producers really enjoy because it's kind of like they really want to capture natural as as how we actually are. And there's other people that literally can't do it. Like, I don't know whether they get too in their heads and they can't, you know, be themselves with cameras there. And I think... Like they just, what, change personalities completely? They just uh, mute or they just can't form a sentence that makes sense. It's just, it's it's kind of sad to watch in, in a moment because it's like, just, this is fine. Like, if you, if you fuck up, they're not going to use you, uh, you know. They, right. You know, they film eight hours a day. Like, it's... So I think that definitely is reflected um, in the edit. Who gets screen time, who get who doesn't. The people who are naturally themselves on camera. Are you saying you're the producer's favorite, Polly? I am not. I'm not (laughs) saying that. I'm more saying that the people that don't get a lot of screen time, it's for a reason, you know? That makes sense. So, yeah. What about the fact that, you know, there's you and Alex Hall and Tyler and Austin, you know, like as a viewer, people, you know, it seems like this is a click and really who cares that you're four good friends? Like, what do you say to that? Like, are you a foursome that cannot be undone? Um, I mean, we as a friend group, and there's more, it's not just us four, for instance, you know, uh, three weeks ago when season two came out or whenever it was a month ago, a bunch of us went to Palm Springs for five days and there was me, there was Gio, there was Gio's wife, there was Austin, there was Austin's wife, there was Tyler, there was Hall, there was Lauren and there was Lauren's husband and a couple of other people who aren't on the show. So... It's not just, you know, me, Hall, Austin, and Tyler. Gio and Lauren are, we're all very close with them too. So it's it's kind of, yeah, we're really good friends. And, you know, it's it's a genuine friendship between us all. And it works really well. You know, 